This episode has been brought to you by our super generous supporters on Patreon. I think robots are awesome. Most likely you think robots are awesome too. They can continuously vacuum the floor, form Voltron, and befriend Steve Gutenberg. No one can befriend Steve Gutenberg. That's amazing. But will we like them as much when they start to take over jobs we previously thought only humans could do? And what will happen then? Good Stuff producers Sam Grant and Matt Weber try to find out. The Industrial Revolution was a time of unprecedented growth in manufacturing. This, however, wasn't the only Industrial Revolution. Two other revolutions have been identified, and a fourth is on its way. The Second Industrial Revolution took place in the last third of the 19th century and beginning of the 20th century. It included the electrification of manufacturing processes, the development of a greater global communications and transportation network, and rapid growth in industrialization and production. We're currently in the middle of the Third Industrial Revolution. It began in the 1980s and marked a switch from analog technologies to digital and more automated ones. But it has been argued that we're in transition to a fourth. With the advanced advancement of artificial intelligence, the fourth industrial revolution will be dominated by one thing in particular. Robots. About two-thirds of Americans surveyed in a recent study believe that robots will eventually perform the work now done by humans within the next 50 years. However, 80% of those surveyed also believe that their jobs are most likely safe. So which is it? Will our inferior human physiques and computational powers eventually be totally replaced by automated machines? Or will there be a reason for us to stick around in the labor force? A robot is defined as a machine capable of carrying out a complex series of actions automatically, in particular one programmable by a computer. Some robots Robots, however, might not come in the packages you might think they would. And most of them are being built to do jobs that humans do now. Take, for instance, McDonald's. It's not a walking, talking, metal-armed humanoid, but they've installed self-ordering kiosks at a number of their stores. Reporting a reduction in human error, these automated kiosks are increasing in numbers all across the country. The elimination of human error may not be the only reason these exist, though. Many larger companies fear the movement toward higher minimum wages will harm their bottom line. And who better to reduce wages than a worker that doesn't require a wage at all? In the US, for every robot that enters the workforce, human employment is reduced by 5.6 workers. So far, most of these robots have displaced humans in industrial and manufacturing sectors. Robots that build cars or package goods. Fully automated to be much more efficient and less error prone than their human counterparts. One recently released analysis by the accounting and consulting firm PwC estimates that nearly 38% of US jobs could be at risk to be taken over by automation by the early 2030s. This analysis assumes a steady progression in artificial intelligence intelligence and many other factors, but indicates that jobs lost will not only be in manufacturing sectors. As AI technologies progress, robots are being developed to work in almost every kind of job you can imagine. A company called Insurify, a recent startup out of MIT, launched Evia into beta testing last year. Evia stands for Expert Virtual Insurance Agent. Yes, Evia is a robot insurance agent. You can simply send Evia a photo of your license plate. It then scours the net for previous insurance and driving records and texts you back with an approved quote within minutes that it thinks you'll like. Almost no work on the part of a human and zero time spent on the phone with or driving to an insurance agent. Evia does it faster and more efficiently than a human could and with much less hassle. In Westphalia, Michigan, a team of cow milking robots from the Swedish company Delaval International will be milking cows at a small family farm. The system is so advanced that it lets the cows come and go as they please and to be milked whenever they're ready. Simbe Robotics has developed an autonomous robot that works in supermarkets alongside customers during business hours and makes sure that the shelves remain stocked and priced throughout the day. The World Economic Forum estimates conservatively that by 2020 robotic automation will lead to the loss of 5 million jobs across the 15 nations in question. And another study estimates that as many as 137 million workers in the garment industry in East Asia are at risk for replacement sometime in the future. So it seems like the question isn't will our jobs be replaced by robots, but when? And the bigger question beyond that is what will happen to our lives and the world economy? The robotic takeover of the economy could exacerbate the already widening gap between the poorest and richest in society. If we are not ready for this transition, chaos could ensue. Or it could lead to the implementation of a universal basic income, where everyone gets paid a living wage whether they work or not. For all the upset the fourth industrial revolution pretends, it also promises a more efficient and less wasteful future. Researchers at the University of Bristol have developed a robot that eats pollution. Called robots, these machines 
machines scour the ocean and waterways, filtering toxic chemicals and other contaminants. These robots use microbes that feed on these pollutants to power their fuel cells. This allows the machine to operate independent of another power source for months at a time. And since algae blooms love to feed off nitrates and other pollutants that end up in our water, the presence of these robots would curb the appearance of these devastating blooms by consuming the microbes that cause them. Even an energy grid maintained and operated by artificial intelligences could distribute power more efficiently, eliminate waste, and help us transition over to renewable power sources more effectively. An economy run largely by robots could help us live more sustainably and give us a safer, cleaner world. Ever since the first industrial revolution, we've been operating under the assumption that the amount of money someone deserved was linked to the amount of work they did. The fourth industrial revolution stands to abolish this link. Whether this means the future will be a world of limitless leisure time or crushing poverty depends on how we respond to this change. So what do you think? Will our robot overlords, or rather co-workers, replace us anytime soon? And if so, what will become of us? Let us know in the comments. If you're a robot, also let us know. If you like what we do here, consider subscribing. We try to put up a video every week. And if you really like what we do, head on over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash thegoodstuff. We're solely supported by Patreon. Special thanks to all of you over there who already support us. You are the best human supporting humans. That's what we need to fight the robots.